Hi, I'm Jeremy Miller from DeGero. Welcome to DeGero Tech Labs, where we go over tips and tricks to set you up for success in the field. This episode, we're gonna go over the Engo 265 and show how to set up for gateway mode and live transmissions. Let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna go over on the Engo 265 is the exterior. The frame is made of aircraft grade aluminum, which allows for ruggedness and lightweight. We also have the ABS bumpers on the top and bottom, which are also housing our RF modules. So this is where your signal is coming from, top and bottom. Then we're gonna rotate the unit over to the left and looking at the inputs, we're gonna have the SDI input at the bottom for your SDI cameras. You have the secondary SIM module here that allows you to use any other carriers whenever you go to another country or you're traveling internationally. This is a thumb screw module, so you simply unscrew with your hands, pop the unit off, and then you can put the micro sims inside. As soon as you're done installing the micro sims, place it back in. It only goes in one way, so you have to place it in properly. Once you're in, screw it back in, and then you can change to the secondary sim module once you get back into the software. Then you have the HDMI in for your HDMI cameras. On the top, you have the IFB out, which is your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then you also have a intercom out, which is set up for your headset. So you can go 3.5 millimeter to a headset if you're utilizing the intercom function that we have utilizing the Motu 4 Pre. All right, next we're gonna take a look at the right-hand side of the Engo. So turning it around, on this side, we have your DC power in. So this is how you power and charge the battery on the Engo 265. Then you have your HDMI out. So this is a great feature that's new on the Engo 265. In the previous models, we had a display port out. On this one, you have an actual HDMI out. Then you have a two ethernet ports. So you can connect up to two WANs connected to your Engo, or you can, when it's in gateway mode, you have a WAN and a LAN. On the top, you have two USB ports, so you can import clips or files to be able to transfer from the actual Engo itself. On this side of the Engo 265, on this side, you have the barcode. You also have the important thing on here is the serial number of the unit. It's important to note this, so just in case you have to contact our support team, you're able to tell them which unit you're calling about. Turning around to the front, you have the power on, button right here. And then you also have our light sensor here. So this will auto adjust the screen brightness based on the ambient light conditions. Next, we're gonna go over how to power on your unit. All you have to do is press and hold the power button for three seconds. Once you've pressed it for three seconds, the power button indicator should turn blue. That lets you know that the unit is powering on. Now that our Engo 265 is fully powered up, I'm gonna walk you through the home screen. We're gonna work from the top to the bottom as you're looking at the screen. Starting at the top of the screen, in the upper left-hand corner, you can see the battery percentage, which is a current operating percentage of that battery. If you have it plugged into a charger, you're gonna see the lightning bolt indicator indicating that it is charging. Over to the right, you're gonna see the different WAN connections. On the WAN connections, you're gonna see six cellular connections along with the different WAN connections or ethernet connections you have plugged into the unit. Could be a satellite or a house internet. Below that, you have the quick access menu, which shows the short title of the ENGO, which will show up in control. In this case, you're gonna see the serial number of the unit. Below that, you have the video preview screen. In the top of that, you're gonna see the current input that it's utilizing. In this case, it's an HDMI and the resolution it's using. Over to the right, you're gonna see the output it is assigned to back at the station or data center, wherever it is being received. You're also gonna have the different audio channels in the bottom left. Over to the right-hand side of the screen, you have the go live button. Quite simple here, all you gotta do is press it to initiate a live transmission. Below that, you have the record button. So to initiate a record, to record a clip to the local hard drive, press record. On the bottom, you have the live menu. These are three pre-selected options for you for your live transmissions. One thing to note is the feed option. In worst case scenario, you can press feed, which will set it 
the latency to 20 seconds to ensure your video gets back to wherever you're transmitting. Next to the live menu, you have the record menu. In the record menu, you have pre-selected options to record the clips at different resolutions and types to the local hard drive. After you record them, you can transfer them as files later on. And that covers the Engo 265 home screen. Don't forget to carry an extra power source for your mobile transmitter. You're now ready to go live on your Engo 265. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Dejero Tech Labs.